And gasoline is also one of the questions that we've been getting about the breaking news we brought you yesterday that Costco is moving into Amherst for its first Western New York store. It has been the story that you are reading the most of on our website over the last day. So we wanted to try to get some answers for you tonight. Join your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us now. And Kelly, what were you able to find out for the viewers? Well, Scott and Mary Alice, we don't know yet if this one will have a gas station, and I'll get into why in just a moment. But here's what I can tell you so far. It'll be at 4200 Ridgely Road. It's across from the Best Buy parking lot. Right now, the old Tony Roma's restaurant is still in that space, and a lot of people use that road as a cut through to avoid the boulevard. Words getting out about the Costco coming here, though, since the closest ones right now are in Rochester or Niagara Falls, Ontario. So a lot of people here have never even been to one, including some of the people I talked with today. I think it'll do good. Yeah, it's a, look at Gabe's. Gabe just moved in over around there and and this is going to do better than Gabe's. I know it is. It points to a new future for the west side of the town of Amherst, um, Freddie Eggertsville, um, Willow Ridge and and Creekside communities. So uh, we're excited. Uh, it's been a point of emphasis for us to see redevelopment along the boulevard. I wanted to talk with somebody today from Costco about the new store, but when I filled out the media request form before I even hit send, I got a message saying the company cannot comment on locations opening more than three months from today. And I checked the new locations list. Amherst isn't on it yet. Costco did get back to me this afternoon with an email and a spokesperson repeated what the website said about it being company policy not to comment on future Costco's until they're ready to share details about the new location. And that's usually two to three months in advance. So we'll have to wait until the company starts filing paperwork with the town and state before we can figure out if there's a possibility of alcohol being sold or a gas station. And we don't have an opening date yet. We only know that the town supervisor says construction is expected to start next spring. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.